Hi kiddos, my name is Riley and welcome to another age regression video. I talked a little while ago about what impure regression was and today I wanted to give you a few things that you can do in order to handle your impure regression. If you don't know what impure age regression is, I recommend checking out that video on my channel called What is Impure Regression? I will have it linked down in the description below for easy access. It's important to remember that impure age regression is different for everyone who experiences it. Some of the things I suggest here may not work for you and they may not help. Or there may be other things or more specific things that do help you that I don't mention. This is just a few general tips and ideas of things that you can do to make your impure regression a little bit easier. My first suggestion is to keep small Adria items around with you at all times. Whether that's having a passy in your pocket or your backpack, carrying a small stuffed animal with you, any small comfort items that you associate with a positive regression are good things to have around. It can be comforting to have the items around you so you can use them just in case you have to. And sometimes I know even if I have a passy in my pocket, just sticking my hand in my pocket and feeling it for a little while kind of helps distract me. This tip especially goes if you go to school or college or work. Bring small things with you in your pockets that can comfort you. My next suggestion is to learn and practice of breathing and grounding techniques. I'm sure if you deal with some mental health issues, you have heard of this before, but it can help slow your heart rate and reduce racing thoughts if those are some things that you deal with when you impurely regress. It can also help get you back into touch with reality and your rational and logical mind. So if you're impurely regressed and you're freaking out, one of my personal favorite grounding and breathing techniques is to plant your butt or your feet firmly on the floor. That way there is some physical grounding going on and you breathe in for three counts, you hold it for four or five counts, release for six counts, and hold that release for two counts. Breathing out longer than you breathe in is scientifically proven to help reduce heart rate. So if you're dealing with some intense anxiety or panic regarding some trauma, it may not solve the problem, but it might help the physical and mental symptoms a little bit. My next tip is to make use of sensory toys. They are very, very common for everyone to use and have. Whether that is a fidget cube, a fidget spinner, a squishy, a stress ball, there are thousands of options of stim toys. They can be used as a distraction, a grounding tool, or just something to keep your hands busy, but they can also give you something to focus on that is not the impure regression that you are dealing with. My next tip is to keep your favorite smells near you. A lot of times smells can trigger memories or emotions, so if you have smells that you associate with positive things or relaxation and stuff like that, have stuff around you, whether it's a lip balm, a small thing of perfume, incense, essential oil, have something around you that is smelly and smells good and brings you good feelings. Essential oils and body oils can do the trick and they can also help redirect your brain. Not everybody believes in the powers of essential oils, but sometimes having just a very nice smell around you and taking a sniff of one of your favorite essential oil scents can bring you to a more grounded place. My last tip is to not be afraid to safely express your emotions. Impure aggression is hard. I'm not gonna deny that. About 40% of my regression is impure and it's very, very hard to deal with. And a lot of times you're just sitting there bottling up your emotions. You don't wanna let anybody or anything know what's going on, especially because a lot of times impure regression is caused by very difficult things. But expressing your emotions in a safe and harmless way is so important. Whether that's just sitting and cuddling a bunch of your stuffies and crying, or it's doing vent art, writing in a journal, or talking to a friend. Expressing your emotions in a safe environment and doing it in ways that don't harm you are very important important and they're tools that will help you in general life as well, not just with impure regression. I hope this video helped a little bit or that you at least got something out of it. If you have a friend who is struggling with impure regression, feel free to send them this video. If you would like to see more content all about age regression from me, I post on this channel two to three times a week. 
so definitely be sure to subscribe. I also have a vlog channel and a main channel where I make non-regression content. Those are both linked down in the description if you wish to check those out. If you'd like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayonkiddo. I love you guys a whole lot, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.